Hello everyone, this is Brad V. Today this is a tutorial for a bending review animation I saw on Pinterest and replicated. I made this because I thought this was a good test animation for the newest bend deformer preset I made in Blender 5.0. It would be better if you watched the previous bend. It would be better if you have already watched the previous bend deformer preset tutorial. It would be better if you have already watched the previous band deformer preset tutorial first. It would be better if you have already watched the previous band deformer preset tutorial first, and then came back to this one to enhance your understanding. The main motivation for building this band deformer in geometry nodes was to support instances, especially for making flower petals. And the main objective for this test is to check whether the band deformer can respond correctly to instance attributes. Here we are in node editor. Let's start with a plane and add a geometry node tree. I will remove the group inputs and start everything from scratch. First, we need to generate instances. I'm going to start with a straight line using curve linear set to the y-axis and then use instance on points with another curve linear on the x-axis. Now we have these horizontal lines instanced along y-axis. I will uncenter it, and then I need to duplicate the curves on the other side. To do that, I will use duplicate elements on our arraying curve, set counter to two. You can duplicate either points or splines. Here, we just use splines without a specific reason. We don't immediately see the duplicates because they have the same orientation and overlap to each other. I will distinguish them using the duplicate index. The original curves will be zero and the other side will be one. So we add a simple switch node to set it to rotation. We can be more formal by using an equal node to convert the green index to a pink boolean socket. I will rotate one of the z-axis by 180 degrees. Now you can see the duplicates are clearly separated. To get a quick effect, we can use the band deformer right after the instances. And for instances, we must set it to the instance mode. These curves are lying on the ground, so we don't immediately see the effect. You can quickly cycle through all axes to find which one works. We find that YZY is the combination we are looking for in this case. And I will offset the origin towards an extreme so that they will open up in the middle. To better visualize the viewport, I will bevel the curve with a flat profile and, and then solidify them. Now we get some kind of effect, but this is not the point of the test yet because we haven't plugged anything into the parameters of band deformer. Here I want to band only some instances instead of all of them. To distinguish between instances, I will use the spline parameter from the original curve. I capture this attribute so it can be used on the instances. When you plug it into the angle, you will immediately see different bending results. It's important to double check that the amount of bending corresponds to the value you input on the instance domain. That's the point of this test. To animate it better, I will add a value and loop it using ping pong set to one. With this added value, you can see how the opening created by the bending propagates along the y-axis. Then I will add a color ramp to increase the contrast, creating more black areas without bending. For convenience, I will use a time info node, set it to negative to animate automatically on the timeline when you are playing the animation and offset it by negative one so it starts at the beginning of the curve. The next step is layering these bending plates on the Z direction. We just repeat the procedure to instance them. 
So I shift D to duplicate the whole function. You can instance it here, here, or here. There are various choices, but you must instance it before our point on instance, where you are instancing the horizontal plate for your bending procedure. When you insert that immediately, you will find the viewport result from our viewer has got disrupted. This is because you need to realize instance to make the information accessible. Now let's turn the curve linear to Z axis and I will set it to step mode and decrease the lens further using decimal shift. Similarly, we also capture spline parameter on the Z direction. You can check how the gradient is drawn on the viewer. Now we can multiply to capture the spline parameter together. You will see the gradient on both Y and Z direction. We output it to the angle. Then we have this specific gradients of bending. We can remap it to increase the magnitude of bending. We can also enable clamp to restrict the bending to certain area instead of bending the entire plate. Therefore, we finish the basic version of this animation. The rest are about parameters. For example, we can set the segment on Y axis in step mode 2. Therefore, by increasing the count, we can elongate it. Let's also decrease the amount on Z axis, increase the factor on time info node to slow down the animation. At the end, I will store a named attribute called F for color transitions on Z axis. Let's add a set material, add a material and assign it. In the shader, we will use the attribute node to call up the attribute we stored earlier, plugging it into the principal BSDF. In the final render, I use the lights to illuminate the center and animate them to follow the path. Here, let's again change some parameters and uh, add a smooth by angle to shade smooth yet. Then it looks nice. We can also make up a custom curve. Here, I will just uh, quickly draw one for an S shape. And then in the node tree, we can use it to replace the initial sample straight line we put on the Y axis. Resample it to get more counts. So basically, this is it. Although this animation is quite abstract, the technique and the test results are very important and they can likely be used elsewhere. This is uh, a quite simple test that really prove we get kind of preset we want for band deformer. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll probably see you next time. Bye bye.